This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Ceilings adding ceiling components. All right, we're picking up right where we left off, 1701. Now open, we're going to save as. Then we're on to 1702. Okay, we'll do another save as. 1702 complete. Good, so we'll save that. All right, this list is getting long here. We are adding ceiling components, which really is going to be like lights or diffusers or anything that's attached to the ceiling. So if we go down to our ceiling plan under phase one, double click on it, zoom in. Okay, where's our ceiling? I think we're getting things cut off a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our view range. Just click on view range. Right now we're cutting up at seven foot six off of roof plate one. Okay, so let's cut through at like four feet. And how far are we going to look up? This is our problem right here. So we want to look up as high as, I wouldn't go unlimited. That tends to cause some issues sometimes. Maybe top of roof plate two, apply. There we go. So now we can actually see the full ceiling because this is a vaulted ceiling. All right, adding components. Click on component, not the step footing. Let's click on load family and we'll go into our lighting fixtures. And then we can just click and see what we want to use. There's sort of different ones that you can go choose from. Okay, not really a lot. There's a pendant light hemisphere. Let's just go with that one for now. Say open. And, you know, this could just as easily be a fan with lights on it or something like that. And maybe we do change that up before we're done. Okay, so we'll add a couple of those in. Now, if you just add in reference planes, it's really going to help you out. I'm just going to add those two in. Okay, I might just do some dimensioning on these. So I'll go to annotate. And we'll just four clicks and then a fifth click there. Then I'm going to EQ that. Now, it gave me a warning. And let's see what that was all about. So I'm going to click on that and just say EQ. It says monitored linked moves. It looks like it moved a linked file. We got to be a little bit careful with stuff like that. Let's click on that link and let's just make sure that that's pinned. Okay. Now, see, this can be a little bit dicey. I'm going to get rid of that dimension. I'm going to draw some reference planes on the inside. Okay. There and there. Then I'm going to dimension to those. So I'm going to go there to there to there to there to there then let's eq that ah okay that's a little bit better now still not perfect let's do this a different way i'm going to delete that now notice what it's saying unconstrain let's unconstrain that because we don't want those to be constrained especially without a dimension that's very dangerous let's do this let's put one in the middle Okay, so we're going to go to reference plane. I usually type RP, but I'm just going to go there for reference plane. We're going to put one approximately in the middle. Then we'll put two below that. Okay, now I'll do a DI, which is dimension. You can go annotate align dimension. That, to that, to that, to that. So that's one, two, three, four clicks. Hit escape two times. Click on your dimension. Click EQ. Now we know that's in the center. Now we're going to dimension this again. So we're going to go annotate, aligned. We're going to go there to there to there to there. And then we'll do that again. One, two, three to there. Good. I'm going to click EQ. Now it centers it between the center and there. So that might be more closer to what we want. Okay, now what we can do is let's draw another reference plane across, so RP, and I might just go from there to there. We had a midpoint, so we didn't use it. Let's try the align tool. And again, you can go into the menu, but if you get used to just pressing AL, way faster. Okay, and just resist that urge to lock right now. Okay, there we go. Okay, a little bit cleaner. Of course, you can balance it out however you want. You may have to do the math if you want to get the spacing exact. But let's just go to that 3D view live section and just see if things are basically looking the way we want. 
Okay, not bad. We're cutting the light right there with our live section. But that's basically what we want. And of course, those could be placeholders. We may try fans. We may try different types of pendant lights. So we have different choices available to us. Good. So let's save that. Close Hidden Windows, save. Shut that down. 